Hey, what's up everybody? Logan Parker, Heirloom Builders. Mike and I are out here at the Wedding Barn in Alamance County, North Carolina. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about knife plates and a jig that we have um, to accurately cut them so that we can connect the base of this post that supports our timber frame structure above in the best way that we found. Um, let me give you a little close up of this connection right here. We got carriage bolts that pass through a knife plate and are tied in with nuts on the other end. Um, and what that looks like is this right here. See, we have drilled four half inch holes for some galvanized steel all thread with a hammer drill and epoxied them to the floor. Um, so this steel knife plate needs to be cut in to the base of that post um, to attach it from uplift and from moving side to side. Uh, the steel knife plate is actually one of the most durable, definitely one of the most attractive and um, strongest connections that you can get for a post base. Uh, there's lots of other hardware out there that you can get, um, but it's just not quite the same as a steel knife plate. So. What we're gonna do is, is take this chainsaw that Mike built a jig for so that we have a stopper block that gets us to the right depth, the right plunge depth with this chainsaw. And we've got guides on both sides that are gonna stop us from going through and cutting through the edge of this post. You can see um, trying to freehand this cut is super difficult. Um, I've done it successfully on eight by eights before, sometimes on six by sixes. This is a 10 by 10, we could do it. Um, but the challenge is getting it straight in, square, and a complete cut. So uh, we've designed our, our steel knife plates to use a half inch steel plate at the bottom with a quarter inch steel knife plate welded um, onto that plate and that quarter inch um, fits nice with a little bit of wiggle room inside this chainsaw curve. So um, we've cut this post, we've recessed, we've added these holes to accommodate for the nuts that attach that knife plate to the concrete floor. And we've, we've drilled a little bit, so we've got a little bit of wiggle room. That's an inch and a half hole. And uh, we're gonna show you how we cut this one right here. And then we'll be able to raise this bent into place and anchor it in. So it's really as simple as that. And there we have a slot that's perfectly parallel to the edge of the post and it doesn't blow through and it completely hides all the hardware. And being that it's in the very center of the post, it's the strongest it's ever gonna be. There's no way for it really to bend. Um, it's protected from, from moisture <clears throat> and rust that might happen. Um, it's really, really a sweet, sweet joint um, and a critical part of this entire timber frame. 
Um, and I just want to show you that. So uh, I hope that was helpful. And um, if so, smash that like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel because we're going to be following this entire project all the way through finish. And we'd love for you to join in. So as always, y'all, thanks for watching. Until the next one, peace out.